Hi folks, well if you've seen any of my latest videos you know I've been talking about battery backers for receivers for uh, gas airplanes and uh, I'm going to show you now how we can do it for running the motor battery as a backup and instead of doing it automatically like this one does I'm going to do it with the fifth channel on the servo here is how it simply works this is the switch I used it's a uh, double pole double throw that means that there's two sets of switches built into one and by doubling this 5 amp switch I get 10 amps which should be plenty sufficient uh, to run this. Uh, the first battery is a 3.3 amp my main battery here. The backup battery is going to be a 2100 milliamp battery. The way it works is you can do these with Dean connectors which I did so you can charge each one I'm going to use this on my RQ11 because it's a big plane set for the camera and I can put some heavy stuff in it and this uh, should go in no sweat but I use Dean connectors all right here what you want to do is connect your plus straight across to your BEC the second plus same thing you hook it up to the same plus so the two pluses of the batteries are connected together second of all by using the double pole double throw switch you take the negatives of each battery and you run a negative to the outside of the switch one negative on the outside of this side and one negative and go all the way across so you bridge that that gives you twice the amperage the center leg goes straight to the BEC so now your negatives are being switched by the toggle like this down here okay battery number one negatives comes here battery number two uh, comes right here and the one in the center goes to the ESC this will be your negative same as this is up here you throw the switch this way then the power comes in from battery two and goes through this into the EBEC if you throw the switch over here this disconnects this side and battery number one connects through here and goes to the BEC so that's how it looks on paper here's how it looks practically uh, before I put it in I've got the two batteries connected and by using my uh, DX6i I can adjust the switch to be just right okay so that's how we're doing each time I switch this the voltage for the receiver is going here okay plug this in so we can read that voltage Okay, battery number one's got 12.26 volts in it. I'm going to flip the switch. And 12.28's in the other one. Pretty equally balanced. Okay. So when I flip the switch, it switches from one battery to the other. Okay, I'll just go ahead and run this thing up so you can hear the one battery difference from the other. Looks like that's going to work out pretty good. Okay, folks, here we go. Into the wind. Of course, it's windy out here today. Let's see how the double batteries work. Here we go.
You know, since I had the ability to switch batteries, you know, like gas tanks, I flew about four minutes on each battery, just switching them back and forth. Well, this method also kept the batteries cooler, because each battery got to cool down by four minutes also. Okay, running low. Okay, I'm gonna throw the switch to the backup battery. There it goes. You know, I know this method won't work in many planes due to room, but I do know it works in planes like these that are designed to fly high and have room for extra batteries and camera equipment. I think this would also be great on some of these 3D foamies, which can easily carry the extra weight of a smaller equal battery, and it's easy to do. You know, our Phantoms had three inboard tanks that when one first emptied, we could switch them, but transferring the fuel had to be done instead, so the fuel would always be in the front tank. We had to keep it nose heavy. Boy, transfer problems were a big problem, especially when you were trying to transfer wing tanks, and they wouldn't. There's the main battery, backup battery. Okay. Yeah, I obviously could have flown a lot longer on this battery, but my fingers just got too cold, so. Basically, I did prove to myself uh, that this will fly for a good long time when I'm doing aerial photography. We're good. Cold, though. Well, an extra battery is like a bomb or an extra fuel tank, so I think a plane capable of handling the extra weight, this, this would be a fine little uh, addition. Lengthen your flight time. Save your battery.